Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at his palace in Rafah deputy premiers, senior royal family members, state officials and officials of his court in exchange with them Eid al-Fitr greetings and best wishes, wishing everyone many happy returns of the auspicious occasion. His Royal Highness extends his heartfelt congratulations to the citizens and residents on Eid al-Fitr, wishing them many happy returns and praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the kingdom with everlasting security, stability and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed deepest appreciation to dedicated Bahrainis who have provided the best examples of sacrifice and loyalty to the nation through their commendable efforts to confront the novel coronavirus COVID-19, extending Eid greetings to frontline heroes who are facing the pandemic. He added that he looks forward with full hope and prayers to Allah the Almighty during these blessed days that this pandemic be lifted off Bahrain, the Islamic and Arab people, and the entire world. So communication with the people of Bahrain shall resume. His Royal Highness, uh, the Premier, underlined the importance of consultation, discussions, and follow-up on the latest regional and international developments, especially with regards to the spread of the coronavirus, with its impact on the economic, social, and political fields. The Prime Minister stressed the need to benefit from international experiences and analyze all publications related to the pandemic in order to reach positive results that would serve plans and policies adopted in the face of the repercussions and effects of this pandemic on the kingdom. His Royal Highness, the Premier, lauded Bahrain's sense of responsibility and awareness, which are the means to confront the pandemic and contain it, noting that competencies and lack of commitment to following the precautionary guidelines and preventative medical measures have been and still are the most important reasons for the increase in infections and the spread of the coronavirus on a massive scale scale in many countries. The Prime Minister affirmed that the responsibility rests all with the citizens and residents regarding their, comi their commitment to the precautionary and preventative guidelines and measures so as to speed up the process of restoring social life back to normal. His Royal Highness, the Premier stressed that Bahrain's pioneering experience in combating the pandemic will be recorded in history, noting that it added to the kingdom's rich record of successes. The Prime Minister expressed hope that all people will resume their normal life as soon as possible and that the pandemic will strengthen solidarity and cooperation among countries to maintain stability and progress worldwide. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 4,397 with 172 recoveries, 71 registered new cases and one death. The new registered cases include expatriate workers and contacts of active cases. The deceased was a 44-year-old male expatriate who received extensive 24-hour treatment from a specialized medical team. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible. In our international news, Saudi Arabia recorded a steady increase of 2,235 new cases over the past 24 hours, raising the total to 74,795. And the health ministry also reported 2,148 recoveries, bringing the total number of recoveries to 45,668 so far. Meanwhile, nine people who had previously tested positive for the virus have died due to complications. The relatively low death toll stands at 399. According to a health ministry spokesman of the new cases, 27% are female, while 73% are male. He also said that 41% of the newly detected cases are of Saudi nationality, while the remaining 59% are of various nationalities. Kuwait saw a slight drop in daily coronavirus cases after detecting 665 new infections over the past 24 hours. Recovery numbers have also been on the rise with 508 new recoveries, raising the total to 6,621. A health ministry spokesman said during a daily press conference that the ministry also recorded nine new fatalities after individuals who had previously tested positive for the virus died. 
The country's relatively low death toll reached 165. According to the spokesman, most of those who tested positive for the virus are expats. A total of 195 are Indian, 148 Kuwaiti nationals, 96 Egyptians and 73 people from Bangladesh. He also said that most of the 15,181 active cases are in stable condition and 182 are in the intensive care unit. The UAE has recorded 781 new coronavirus cases overnight after conducting an additional 35,000 tests, bringing the country's total number of known infections to 29,485. The health ministry said that there was also one fatality overnight, raising the death toll to 245. But 561 people, meanwhile, were cleared from COVID-19 infections, raising the number of patients in recovery to 15,056. The UN Migration Agency said that Libya's Coast Guard intercepted about 400 Europe-bound migrants off the country's Mediterranean coast over the past two days and brought them to the capital of Tripoli, where they were taken to a detention center. A spokeswoman for the International Organization for Migration said the migrants were taken to the Al Nasser detention center in the town of Zawiya, west of Tripoli. He said that uh, departures from Libya have increased, which is especially worrying amid a sharp decrease in search and rescue capacity. Face mask vending machines have emerged across Hong Kong to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. A new project called mask to go has been rolled out across the city with 37 vending machines installed in 17 different NGO buildings. People have registered to receive a contactless redemption card with a unique QR code. The smart card system allows each NGO to monitor the refill of masks in the machine and enables them to work out how much stock is required. The mask dispenser initiative was set up by Hong Kong property developer New World Development. New World Development has also set up their own production line to manufacture medical face masks.